countdown. We're We're live. live. Okay, we're live. Good morning. It is morning here on the East Coast, and we are live from York, Pennsylvania at the TCA Fall October meet um, here at the York County Fairgrounds. And I'm Andy Edelman with my compadres at Atlas, Matt and Ross. And we are here today to talk about the new fall catalog, which will be available for pickup here at the show. Um, And we'll go through that uh, this morning for about a half an hour. Take your questions if you have any. Uh, There's some interesting stuff in there, and we're excited about it. Um, One of the things that I'll caution you about is um, the fact that we're in this uh, exhibit hall. There may be a PA announcement, which will be deafening and uh, we'll just have to pause and wait for that to end we don't control everything um so uh be patient with us if that should happen and uh we may have somebody stumble into the booth here as well uh not realizing that we're on the air and talking to you um i trust that everybody can hear us fine uh we do not have any audio feedback so we don't know what's going on so dan bigda just commented good morning so i assume that uh he can hear us um and uh, hopefully we'll be able to move on from there. Um, So we'll just jump right into the catalog. I'm gonna share the screen, pull it up, and um, Matt will be uh, talking about some of the features of these things as we move along. Um, Thank you, Jim, for that comment. Sounds good. All righty, so here's the catalog, folks. Um, Big drummer. There she goes. All right, back, let's (laughs) jump back to the the front page. Um, So you can see on there the F40. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk real quick uh, about the bi-level cars that are behind that, uh, just so everybody understands that what's going on with um, uh, Atlas and MTH, that is an MTH model that MTH still owns. And uh, the two companies have decided to do uh, a uh, relationship uh, expansion, if you will, that uh, allows each company to, based on permissions and a lot of cooperation, to use the other company's tools this is the first of uh, products uh, this is that and I uh, will jump through uh, past the uh, table of contents and over to the f40s and oh, SD-45. I'm sorry, SD-45. SD-45s, right there. <laughs> um, so we've got a bunch of road names. Matt, yeah, take it we away. we got uh, six paint schemes for you, all new, from also including the MTH runs. These are all new, not done in Premier from MTH either. So we have Norfolk and Western in blue. We have a uh, Guilford with the Springfield terminal marks on it. We have a CP with the dual flags from when CP bought Sioux Line and Delaware and Hudson. They started putting that dual flag scheme on everything. It's one of my favorites. Then we have a CSX original, the gray with blue. Why, why do we have an asterisk after CSX? That's for the licensure. Ah, so that's okay. an official CSX licensed uh, okay. product. Good and to know. Marketing, Atlas always does marketing a little. guy like myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah, you know, apples and oranges, yeah, FDH go. guys, <laughs> things different. And then we have a uh, Southern Pacific and the speed lettering. It's a very cool scheme as well. And then last but not least, Union Pacific. Uh, and then we can handle it scheme. It's one of the earlier ones. It's iconic, though. Very cool. Oh, for sure. And yeah. one of the things to note is a couple of these models are the high hoods. And MTH did do high hoods. Um, but uh, not that often, and certainly not in these schemes, if I no, recall, right? No, they didn't. So, so. so that's that's pretty cool. First, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And these are available in two-rail as well. So two-railers, on anything up they like. And MTH did not do them in two-rail. We did yes, offer them a with first. the... It's with a first, the, yep, yes. We did offer so. them with the trucks, but we didn't do them in two-rail. So I'm going to two-rail it up. Yep, for sure. Cool. And the other thing, folks, is that, uh, you know, the standard Protostown 3 features are in these locomotives. Uh, of course, they'll work with DCS. Uh, they'll work conventionally. Um, and uh, they have the DCC package. So if if you want to run under DCC, you can do that as well. Yes, that's all Mm -hmm. correct. Yep. All right. You're more the the DCS guy than I am. I understand. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> All right. So uh, as we saw on the cover, F forties. This is the F40s, second round of the second round of F forties. Yep. Um, Metro heavy for a good reason. You guys will see that uh, later on on the following pages. So we have the new, new, new Metro Chicago unit. It's a very cool unit. It has a a gray a shadowed skyline of Chicago underneath the cab, which I think is really cool. And the scheme itself is the city of Chicago flag. It's actually the, yeah, the four the stars. stars and yeah. yeah, so they they kind of twisted the flag, the city flag to the scheme, which cool. is very cool. And then below that, we have a, a Metro Heritage unit, which is a Metro Heritage unit of Metro. Well, yeah. RTA, RTA but original. it's RTA original, and it's it's also fresh from I think last year. So the, the very new paint schemes, and continuing on with the new Metro paint schemes, we also have the the Metro New Image paint scheme, which is they're rolling out some MP36s, some F40s, random equipment's getting it. It may become standard. We don't know yet, but so very, the classification New Image. What are you trying to tell us? It's a brand new scheme. It's a brand new scheme, and that's kind of a that's Metro's branding. Yeah, that's that's Metro's yeah, branding. That's, that's yeah, new, that's what they're calling okay. it. All right. So I did a little little goo because rail fans are calling it Milwaukee Heritage because it has that orange stripe in it. Yeah. Okay. But Metro refers to it right. as New Image. Right. Okay. And then the Music City Star in Nashville. It's a cool little. Uh, is this I don't want to call it commuter. It railway? is a commuter yeah. railway. Yeah. Yep. They only have I think they have three or four F40s. And less than ten old buy levels. Yeah. So it's a small operation. Where you see them scooting around. The yeah. Have you ever been yeah. to Nat? Which plenty of us have been to Nashville. <laughs> you can see this by the river. We can't talk about what happened in Nashville. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, no. It's, it's all was, blur. Yeah. It, well, it, it's not a blur, but it, it can't be. It uh, can't be spoken up. <laughs> and then Maine Eastern. Maine Eastern. It's cool. Uh, it's a tourist railroad. They bought some F40s, and it's actually owned by Morristown and Erie in New Jersey. So these actually bounce back between Morristown and New Jersey and all the way up in Maine. Oh, really? Their, yeah. So they're up and Deer, down. New Jersey and Hearts. Uh, yep. Wow. And I believe they're in Morristown now or they got sent back. Yeah. So they're hmm. we sir. Oh, that's pretty but cool. That's a cool paint scheme. Yeah, for sure. And we'll have uh, streamlined cars in the following catalog to match that Morristown and Erie locomotive. So don't be afraid of ordering it because nothing matches it. We'll... We'll make some appropriate right. passenger we'll cars. Together. Don't worry. And, yeah. And then my guess is that 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 announcement is in the spring. That would be my guess yep. too. Yep. Okay. So here are the previously mentioned buy levels. Yep. So these are ultra cool. We um we have more new metro schemes that MTH has never done before. Um, the bicycle cars they're a, a product of post COVID. A lot of people want to get out of the city and ride rail trails in the suburbs or the opposite. They want to take their bikes into the city. So Metro came up with this cool idea to put bicycle racks on the bottom level of these by levels. So you can um, easily ride with your bike into Chicago or out of Chicago for whatever activities you want to do. And it's, it's really cool. These cars are colorful and bright and just neat. Yeah, I like the fact that they're the schemes are mixed in the contest. Um, you guys have already done that a couple of times with streamlined yeah. passenger cars, and MTH never did that. The cars were always the same scheme throughout. It gives and, a little uh, realism. It really know? does, yeah. yeah. No, it's it's a cool thing, and uh, I think that's Scott, right? Yeah, yeah Scott. He's, the, he's yeah, all passenger. Big on that, so. Takes pride in that. <laughs> your passenger car guru. Right. <laughs> so below that is the uh, Metro BNSF. Metro BNSF, yeah. and that has gray shadowing. Do we have Which, another shot of that as a two-car set? I think down there we got the two-car set. Yeah, it's right. a little better. So if you don't want to bigger. pop for four, you can get two. Right. And it has a gray shadowing on there, which it's not actual corrugation. It's it's illusion of it, which Pullman Standard did on some of their heavyweights to match the streamline cars. So, so we, we've, we've treated the graphics to kind of recreate that extruded look. Yeah. So, so the, it, these cars are all smooth. Um, but it, they'll look like they're they'll look like they're corrugated right. and it has like that gradient in it will, will trick your eye and yep. it's just a nice representation of it yeah no and it, it makes it look a little more uh it differentiates yeah. from the other schemes it's kind so. of closer to the prototype that yep. way yeah i like it and then uh below that is the star 
Um, on the very bottom is the star. Uh, let's go to the top. Let's see. Yeah, we have All right, let's go to the new image yeah. cars. Okay. So Metro got a few of these from uh, Virginia Railway Express, and that thick blue line is actually still from from the VRE. Yeah. VRE. Yeah. 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 So it's kind of a slap together paint job, but it looks really cool. They yeah. these in service. Um, before and after COVID, they went to storage during COVID because they're older cars from the VRE, but now they're back out. And they're just, it's a cool paint scheme. It would look great mixed into any uh, metric consists. Yeah, I like it. And then uh, the bottom one is yeah, the star. Yeah, Music City Star. Last but not least, the Music City Star. And uh, we have two two packs available for these. So if you want to run two commuter trains on your little and big Nashville guy. So, <laughs> two, or three. two or three. Two or three. Okay. Mostly two. Right. It's a pretty uh pretty light service right. they have. But right. yeah, it's it's kind of funny. It's the F forty and two cars. Gotcha. Right. Most okay. of the time. Yeah. Yeah, usually a coach and a cab car, right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, like I said, they only have less than a dozen cars total. So it's not a big operation at all. There's there's a no testing out. <laughs> All right, next up, uh, the premier three bay center flows. Is this the second run for these or the first? This is the second round of that's these for thought. Atlas. Yeah, that's what so I thought. they're they're two railed in the first run and they're two railed again in the second run. So the two railers that uh, wanted to wait and see how they came out, now you can order some. Right, right. And MTH never did them in two rail, they only did three rails. Um, all their rolling stock, uh, though the cars were configured so that you could put two rail trucks on and Katie couplers Dude, and yeah. all that. So, but, yeah, but was, you're actually including the trucks. We like to do it out of the box yeah. for yeah. our two rail customers. Yeah. And yeah. some cool paint schemes on these. We've got the modern CN Canadian national with the uh, Wisconsin central marks. It's a monopoly rule that railroads do <laughs> use different marks. And then we have uh, the Georgia Pacific it's a big blue, colorful car. It's very cool. And then, um, Sinclair. Or, Sclair. I, Sclair. Yes. <laughs> Squint cool scheme. Very cool scheme. DuPont, Delaware area. All right. And then we have uh, Erie Lackawanna up there. It doesn't like a little bit of EL. And the Ralston Perina is really cool. Yeah. That iconic checkerboard. Sure. Sure. And then to finish it off, we have one more modern one. It's a former SP car that was repainted after the Union Pacific uh, takeover. So you can still see those today. You got to love the patches. I think that's yeah. cool. Anywhere from 2000 yep. a day, you can see that car. So, Well, yeah. it's cool, and it saves the railroad money. Yep. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, too funny. All right. Next up will be the premier 50-foot high cubes. 50-foot high cubes. Yep. Everybody loves these cars, especially the modern guys. So for the first time, we have Burlington Northern with just the BN and without the billboard Burlington Northern written out on the other, the right side of the car. So it has a big BN and then it just has reporting marks. That's prototypical to the Gunderson built high cubes. And below that we have a hard near and dear York rail, which is just outside behind us. They uh, actually serve the paper mill with these cars. And if anybody's ever been to York, <laughs> Pennsylvania, you know all about the paper mill. You can smell it. It's pungent. <laughs> so that's for our York guys. And then we have two flavors of uh, TTX. Actually, three flavors of TTX. We have uh, the former Illinois Central gray cars, too. But on the bottom there, we have the as delivered with the speed TTX. And then we have the forward thinking patch, which went over the speed logo. And, then and this one is. Uh... That one's uh, the gray one is TOFA, like T O F X which is a TTX reporting mark. So they bought, the TTX leases these cars out all the time and they have a lot of business with these. So when extras came on the market, they scooped them up and they just patched them, didn't bother with painting them. Cool. And I did the pass over the Montana Rail there Link. There she is. Yeah, you gotta yeah. have Montana Rail Link. Yeah, and there's the cool Montana Rail Link with uh, the, the newest logo, the red dot. And now they're part of the BNSF system. So if you're a BNSF guy, you have an excuse to, right. to pick that yeah. up now. Right. Now these are also two and three rail. These are also two and three rail. Right. 
And then a couple of limited edition packs. So yep. a combo of the TTXs. So we did a three pack where you can get all the TTXs in one shot if you want to do it that way. And then below that, because CSX has been uh, rolling out their heritage units, we decided to complement them with a modern box car for the first three CSX heritage units. So we have the B&O. It's decorated similar to the locomotive. We have a chassis system, also similar to the locomotive. And my favorite, the CNO, which is those are Those are some cool schemes. They I are. Mean, you guys, really neat. They're, they're really neat. And, uh, you know, the heritage thing has been pretty popular now amongst all yeah. the big major railroads. And I think we'll continue to see a lot of that yeah. moving forward. I think uh, going away. From a prototype standpoint. So this is a great way to kind of recreate that for yeah. modelers. And yeah. this is us celebrating CSX finally joining in on the heritage. Uh, right. Yep. Unit coming, coming around. <laughs> yeah. Now they'll probably kill us like uh, BNSF and and um, UP did with all yeah. kinds of different schemes. So yeah. ah, we love it. Yeah. No, it's fun. more artwork for us to make. Yeah. There you go. All right. Now this is a second run as well, right? This is a second run. run. Tanks. Okay. The first run was all beer names, and they were uh, foobies of loose foobies. These are all prototypical schemes. So if these look familiar. They were on Atlas and scale beer can tank cars as well. So these are kind of like Atlas legacy paint schemes. We have a CGTX, GTX, Hooker Chemical. Everybody loves that orange scheme. Southern Star Lard. So you got a lard car. Who doesn't want some butter? You got to have that. And then for the <laughs> modern guys, we got Union Tank Car, UTLX. That's a cool one with the black band in the middle and the conspic stripes. And then, uh, is that Wilmette, Wanda Meg? I, 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 Andy? Why and Dot. That sounds, sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. It's a very pretty car. <laughs> yes. Y and W shouldn't go together like that. But. <laughs> uh, that's I see the DX. <laughs> yeah. There you go. The blue car. Right. The blue one. <laughs> Next up. Uh, 42 foot NSC coil and steel cars. These are a favorite among our modern guys. Um, we always sell a ton of these. These are my favorite too. These are just very sleek, cool, cool uh, coil cars. So we have a CSX patch out for AOK, -okay, which is a Arkansas Oklahoma leasing. They just lease rail cars out. We have the red one is First Union Rail, which is an X leasing company, NOCO. And then we have, uh, below that, we got GTW, which is a CN, Canadian national asset. Oh, let's so go further down here. If you're in the Chicago area, you probably right. see tons of those. And moving further, we have a uh, NS with a, I know this. Well, it's different hoods, right? It's, it's Bessemer, different hoods. Yeah. That's yeah, a Bessemer hood. Is it a Bessemer hood? Is it wheeling? Or wheeling like Erie? Like I think Erie. it's wheeling. Yeah. In like it's Erie. a wheeling like Erie yeah. hood. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. So that's pretty yeah. cool. The mismatch, like how the railroads right. do it in real life. You know, they like send their right. coil cars out and they don't get the same hood back all the time. So we're we're, we're seeing some comments about the page not displaying properly. And uh, I, I think the internet is causing us some problems because we're seeing the captions and names uh, that are actually on the catalog not appearing um, on the page when we're popping through these. So apologies, but um, you will be able to see the book on the Atlas site with the PDF yes. will be up yep. there. So yeah, yeah we'll have right. a PDF for right. you guys to download there today. Absolutely. All right. So a couple more. Uh, Multimax mm. auto carriers. Multimaxes yeah, are back. The yes, indeed. Have to come yes. Back. Everybody went nuts over these ginormous cars. Yeah, we actually have <laughs> it on display behind us, so they're huge. Yeah, we're Max. sorry about the the doors not opening, but for scale fidelity and everything, we could we could make them open, but they would look a little chunky and more toy like. Right. So I think vast majority of people prefer it to be true to scale. Yeah, and running I mean, the risk of breaking off. Yeah, and yep. you don't want it flying off yeah. either. Yeah. So our multi maxes, I love these cars. They're huge. We got some behind us on display, yeah, and uh, we have uh, what five new paint schemes. It looks that way. BNSF yeah. with the black wedge on the superstructure. That's a cool one. CN with the CN logo superstructure as well, and then CP with the large Beaver logo. That's one of my favorites. And CSX uh, Y and three boxcar scheme. The boxcar imagery. 
And then just your plain Jane TTX, run it to the port and load it with some cars. And everybody needs a plain auto rack because yep. that's yep. how the vast majority of them are. <laughs> cool. That's some cool stuff. I, I do like those cars. They are awesome. They are, yeah. We sent they're some down to photograph. They're so long, but <laughs> they're, to they're Andy neat. to work yeah. with. And I think he was surprised. Yeah. Neat stuff. All right. So I believe, is this our last one? No, we got two more. Two more pieces of rolling stock. So these are one of my favorites. It's a, it's a trainman model, but it's true to scale, high fidelity model. It's very nice for trainmen. We have a ADM, which who doesn't like ADM? It's one of the most generic uh, co-ops out there. You see it all over the place. And then uh, moving on down, we have Landmark out of Colorado. Those were everywhere back in the, the 60s and 70s. And below that, we have MFA Co-op, which is a grain co-op. And I believe Oklahoma, but who doesn't like that red, white, and blue ah, scheme yeah. with the cool shields? It'll sell. Red, white, and blue always does. Yeah, I really like that yeah, car. Always uh, does. And then we have uh, AG processors, yeah. another grain co-op, and they're a modern grain co-op. Um, as you can see, there's conspicuous stripes on the side of that car. Mm -hmm. so, so these cars, era-wise, 60s right up to? 60s to today. To yeah. today. Yeah, they're still You can there. see pretty much all these in the same train. I mean, other than the running and Yeah, you can right? see one's first built. Like, all around. Yeah. They built these cars until the early 90s. Um, Trinity took over the patent from Pullman standard so you can see there's a lot of variety on these right yeah they, they one of my favorites around. right there is uh the Michigan Michigan elevator change it's green it's a co-op in Michigan yeah. and yeah. it's a really cool car because it has a little imagery of the state of Michigan on the that placard and oh yeah yeah I, I wish think we it's could get any tighter on this but yeah yeah I wish we could zoom in and show that it's, it's a cool image so if you're from Michigan this is one for you and then below that, we have a fan favorite, fan favorite, the regional railroad next to Atlas, <laughs> running in Northern. So we got a lot of requests for these uh, 4750s because we passed them up a lot, but we finally did it. And so, you know, uh, Reading Northern O-Scalers can enjoy these. Neat. Yeah. Uh, Redding... and, and you spelled it correctly. MTH one time ran Reading in Northern. <laughs> and the internal uh, description of it is Reading and Norton because that's Norton. the way we yeah. printed it. Yeah. So... Uh, so that happened. Yeah. And then last but not least for this book is the Trainman Bay Window Caboose. Train Window Bay Window oh, Cabooses. Cabooses. And if you look closely at all these, they actually match the SD45s yep. that are coming out. So we had a CP SD45. We have a CP Canadian Pacific Bay Window Caboose to go along with it. And then um, below that, we have a DuPont bay window caboose which is prototypical this is part of their safety train and you can match this with the the three base popper in the catalog as well so there's two for the dupont fans out there there's two pieces of dupont rolling stock right and that's that's a neat thing about the catalogs putting them together is mixing and matching Absolutely, stock. yeah right. yeah love to match it with it's locomotives funny. or other rolling yeah. stock um below that we have the elegant north fork and western in the blue it's a very classy scheme <laughs> then we have a not so classy scheme underneath that is uh the up it was originally up then they loaned it to rock island and then rock island went under and up took it back and just passed slapped the patch on there yep slapped the patches on there got rid of the rock island marks and that's similar in error to the up uh union pacific sd45 yeah in the catalog i think that's the coolest yeah. thing they got there yeah <laughs> that is a pretty cool one and then we have a CSX in their earlier scheme to match the earlier scheme, the uh, SD45. SD45, right. And then, uh, and then the Guilford. same, same yep. for Guilford. Yep. The Guilford think, scheme is one of my favorites too. It's I've cool. Liked it. yeah. I like the big G. Yep. Yep. It's Man. very simple, but the colors, you know, if you're a graphic design guy, it's yep. a good color combo. Yep. And Southern Pacific below that. Right. It's the classic Southern Pacific Bay window caboose. That's the, the four compartment tank is the DuPont matching one, right? Yeah, that and uh, actually the yeah, the, the, thing? the oh, tongue twister, the three bay uh, popper. Yeah, yeah, it was actually a Dupont car too. So that uh, that's pretty much the book. I mean, there's a few other things. Um, you know, some track uh, listings are in here and oh, some and accessories the table, and so forth. Signal. The turntable. So all our uh, three rail track items are in stock. That's yep, good so to hear. Yep. Have no fear starting your Atlas O layout. Good. We got tons and tons of 
three rail in stock, right. as well as majority of the two rail line. And as we well. also have our uh, golden spike car at the end, right? We yep, do. So if you don't mind flipping to that, Andy. There we go. We have the 2024 Golden Spike Club car for our uh, Golden Spike Club members. Scott's reefer. It's a Scott project. He loves his reefers. So that's Van Camp Mill Company. It's got a cool illustration on the right side and just a pretty cool car. Yeah, it like, is. I love those graphics on those old wood reefers. Yeah, yeah it's very cool. Yeah, it's a yeah. shame that you don't see more billboard cars anymore. Yeah. But <laughs> they, they cost the railroads too much. To yeah, much, it's but... probably not <laughs> yeah. sensible. Yeah, plus they, then they might get tarnished by some oh, yeah. oh and then yeah people nice will just with a yes. tag graffiti right, right over the top yeah, of their exactly. beautiful graphics exactly well that's yeah. it there's the catalog so there. there you go um and again we want to apologize for any audio or or buffering that may have gone on um shockingly it, we didn't get a pa announcement so no i was ready yeah, to stand well, for the right. flag and well, everything. it's not yeah. noon yet so uh again we're live from york pennsylvania at the uh, tca october fall meet um, this is a member uh, organization, <clears throat> Train Collectors Association. You do not have to be a member to attend. Uh, the open to the public begins at noon on Friday and runs till 6.30. Uh, and then again on Saturday, 9 to 3, I believe. So um, there's a, a entry charge for that. I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Um, and of course, members, uh, TCA members who want to come in, you can get in. Uh, this afternoon, beginning at noon till 6.30, uh, and then tomorrow, members only from 9 to noon. Um, mm -hmm. So feel free to come on by, pick up a, a catalog. Hopefully, we've brought enough to cover us for the week. We hundreds um, and hundreds of copies, some. and yeah. some for your friends and family. Exactly. Yeah. So if you have any questions about stuff, if you're confused about why I'm here, um, if you have questions about the shared tooling thing, we're happy to ask them or answer them as best as we can. And, uh, you know, anything about the technology and the, yeah. the product, we're, we're here for you. Look forward to seeing you and appreciate everybody coming on. Um, we are going to sign off because we got to turn the booth over yeah. and we, open in a half an hour. We'd like um, to do Q&A. Yeah, usually, but we're that. in a little time yeah, constraint here. Time crunch. So <laughs> appreciate uh, everybody joining us and we'll see you down the road soon. Thank you. Bye, everyone. See you later. Is it over? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>